Good evening, Mrs. Cooper. Can I speak to Sheldon? No, you can't speak to Sheldon. It's late. He's in bed. Oh. I was hoping he might like to go to a party with me. Has everyone lost their mind? He's a little boy, Tam. Good night. Good Lord. That mouth of yours is a machine gun tonight. What are you doing? Trying to calculate the odds of the dolphins covering the spread next Sunday. I like dolphins. They talk out of that hole in their head. Hello. Tam. What are you doing here? Would you like to go to a party with me? I don't want to go to a party with anyone. I would. Please, Sheldon. It's right across the street. Just get me in and you can go back to bed. I have to ask my mom. No need. She knows all about the party. All right, then. I need a minute to change. Why are you wearing that? It makes me look older. Just so we're clear, once you get in, I'm going home. Hey, Sheldon! What are you doing? Hey, everybody, check it out. Sheldon's here. <laughs> I hope that doesn't wake up the kids. Should I go over here and say something? I think you should. I was bluffing. Don't make me put my socks back on. Never mind. Good night. Good night. I feel bad about yelling at Georgie. Yeah, he deserved it. You should do it more. I think he's feeling left out now that you and Sheldon are spending so much time together. Are you kidding me? You're always saying to find something in common with Sheldon, and now that I have, you're telling me I'm ignoring Georgie? I'm not saying that. I'm just reminding you that you got two sons. I know. I also got a daughter I need to spend more time with. You do. But I wouldn't worry about her. She's an angel. Because it is knocking me for a loop. Right? <laughs> <laughs>